Hi Cancer, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Okay, Cancer. Um, so this week, you're expecting the worst. You're worrying. You're worrying. Um, you're having negative thoughts. Um, do know that whatever you think about, it can potentially manifest. So think positive thoughts. Um, you may be restless at night, not sleeping. Some of you, what I'm hearing is um, you might be displaced, displaced, like you don't maybe have a home to call of your own, or you feel like you're going to be displaced, so that's causing a lot of sleepless and restless nights. Um, you're expecting the worst, like you're never going to find or you're never going to have, or you feel like you are without something and it's causing you a lot of anxiety the people around you don't know this but there's somebody who can sense it lots of swirling thoughts Possibly at night. Maybe even some pain. You're having pain somewhere in your body. Let's see what's going on here for you this week. The five of air. The ten of... So, ten of cups or ten of water. You feel like you're just not going to... There's something or someone who kind of inserts themselves within a specific dynamic, whether it's a marriage or relationship, but there's something that, that keeps popping up, that comes back. Something or someone inserting themselves in your, your happy home, um, your family life. You may have found a lot of happiness with a particular person or Yeah, with a particular person. But there's something that just keeps coming up there. There can also be someone from the past that keeps resurfacing. Someone that maybe you have to question their motives. Like, what do they want with you now? Things fell apart. It wasn't that great of an ending. And you have to question, what what is this? You want to choose... Jealousy, unhappiness, uh, backbiting, fighting, verbal arguments over someone that potentially or possibly makes you very happy, makes you feel content with them or in that relationship. That might be what's happening here for you. Um, you have to choose. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. Or another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're dealing with someone who... There's a lot of drama. There's some childish behavior going on here. There was some... Uh, the mental games played. Um, people who are saying things but meant nothing by it. And, they, and their actions showed exactly how they feel or what they meant or what they what they mean they this is a person who hasn't changed they they they're coming back or they have come back you could be dealing with um, a Gemini the advice for you cancer is be the Emperor find balance um, You need to be very stern and structured in dealing with this person.
go to that place or that person that brings you a lot of balance and arguments and headache are few there's cooperation and there's compromise with one particular person okay and you may be waiting for things to maybe even get more stable or you to get more time under your belt with someone um because it looks like you have two options here and it says that you need to be very stern you mean you need to make a decision about your stability about what it is you really want what it is you bring to the table and what it is you really want someone else to bring to the table because you might have been a giver in a in an old relationship or situation you were the one that was pouring out and giving and giving and giving and now you found balance with see how these show up on these sides yeah you're going to have to be very stern with someone or something it could be cancer pisces scorpio it could be directly connected to the king of cups you're going to have to be stern in regards to dealing with this person and go to your happy place go to that place of balance um if someone takes you too far to the left or too far to the right you need to always be balanced it's, this is directly related to the king of cups because the king of cups is balanced he is emotionally balanced like he knows when to draw on um anger love um compassion empathy um don't it says be a rock in regards to dealing with this person don't let this person make you become unbalanced unstable imbalanced or unstable be stern logical and organized in regards to dealing with a particular it could be a sagittarius could be an aries in regards to dealing with this person there could be somebody coming back and they're trying to be this way with you they're trying to be super stern with you um, but the the um the advice for you is to remain in your power don't become upset the outcome is the queen of fire and the eight of air So, you could be dealing with a Libra person. The outcome is for you to assert yourself, your power, and your authority. Or there might be someone else who's doing this. The outcome could be this person, you know, now resorting to some tactic of making you feel like you, you're stuck to them or you're trapped with them. There could be some, and the outcome here is also someone doing like some seductive magic to make you constantly think of them. There could be someone also resorting to some type of um, mental manipulation to make you feel like you're stuck with them. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And that makes you afraid to take action. Um, they make you lack confidence. This might be a very attractive woman or man and they um, kind of throw up in your face that maybe you're not going to find anyone as attractive or as outgoing or funny. There's also somebody making you feel like you're stuck to them. Maybe you're stuck with them. I'm going to pull one card of clarity. Yeah, um, 
they're making you feel like if you if you cut them off or if you lose them, you're you're losing something of great value. But that's an illusion. Yeah, the strength card. It says um You may be all up in your head about a particular person too. There's an ending and a new beginning, but you're holding back how much you really feel towards a particular person. You're keeping it all pent up and bottled up in your head and you're not taking action. You're not feeling confident enough to take action on this or with this person. Yeah, because you look at them as the empress. You have the emperor and the, the, um, the lady or the empress. Um... Okay, I'm seeing this a whole nother way. Once again, the Nine of Swords. Some of you are fearing like you're going to... Um, like fear of failure. But you know that you're very happy and content with a particular person. It says stay emotionally balanced. Don't go so far to the left in regards to thinking negative about what's going to happen with this person because it seems like you have a lot of power within you within this dynamic to kind of push the relationship forward or push it in the direction you want it to go anyhow also this may you may feel like this is your twin flame we do have the emperor and the empress here you feel like this is your soulmate you feel like this person gets you there's balance there's cooperation here um but then you go back to feeling stuck in some illusion that makes you feel like you have lack of confidence to take action in regards to this person. Um, you may even feel like you're going to lose this person. Or, um, you may even be holding back your feelings toward this person um, due to fear. Hmm. And you have the nine of swords again. You feel like this is going to end. You could be mother and father. You want or you want to be mother and father. You trying to, somebody's trying to do some spells, some work in regards to trying to get you or you get them like you know kind of hook you i don't think it's bad though take action it's telling you to take action listen to your intuition you have a no answer you have perfect timing okay um let's clarify our no answer what's this no answer for cancer the chariot wow ten of cups and knight of pen prince of pentacles no this person or you you need to take action you need to move forward because maybe a particular person place or thing can make you very happy and bring you a lot of stability and you need to honor your commitment if you are making one uh, with a particular person, place, or thing. Somebody makes you very happy. It could be a very wise woman also. She already knows something. Or she knows a lot. She knows about the universe. She knows about... She she's easily can easily go between... From being real earthy to being and talking talking about things in regards to the world to talking about spirituality and just knowing how to marry the two so perfectly. You feel like this is the perfect person. You feel like they, they fill all the cups. Once again, the Queen of Wands. You feel like they're super sexy, attractive, outgoing. But you um, you're trying to 
make a head over heart decision. Yeah, there's you, King of Cups, in regards to this Queen of Swords. Maybe to get engaged or to move something forward. You're very much in love with them and you want to work. You like the fact that they're working with you or working on something or that they actually work. I don't know. You want to be their protector. You feel like on your quest to find something more meaningful, more emotionally fulfilling, you have. And you're letting go past hurts. And you're trying to stay, or you're not trying to think of past hurt. You're trying to stay emotionally stable. Well, you may have found the emotionally stable, super grounded woman who who's a working woman and it like she want you want to put her on a pedestal you feel like she deserves it all but there's also but you're not telling her or you're not telling him wow okay cancer good luck with this um if you feel like the reading resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there um or um, if you have one question, you just want one answer, you can you can email the email address below and you can uh, pay for your question and receive the answer to your question via email. Thank you, Cancer. Take care. Many blessings. Stay safe and healthy.